Good morning. Glory to the Father, to the Son, to the Holy Spirit, always, now and ever, and under the ages of, of ages. Amen. Um, well, uh, I've been doing some uh, thinking over the past few weeks um, of something to uh, get on the program here, on this podcast, to uh, maybe strike more public interest in the program. So, um, we have an invasive species of plant which grows in our backyard. Uh, most people uh, in ignorance call it bamboo, but it's really actually not bamboo, even though it res- the stalks of it are divided into segments similar to the actual bamboo plant. It's really not bamboo. It's uh, actually a member of the buckwheat family, and it's Japanese knotweed. Uh, now, uh, a person could maybe win a Nobel Prize if they could figure out uh, how to control and uh, find useful ideas to, to use to uh, to use this plant as material. Um, you know, uh, I was telling somebody a few years back in town here that I could actually show you how to make um, usable products out of this plant. Um, in some countries, like the uh, United Kingdom, it's against the law, believe this or not, it's actually against the law for anybody to cultivate knotweed on their property. <laughs> stuff, well, you, uh, if you're familiar with it, uh, the stuff um, pretty much uh, takes over. It'll send roots several feet into the ground. Um, and uh, I've, by my experience out here, of course, uh, the knotweed uh, was growing down in the cracks of the ledge. I'd dig all the way down to the ledge, and the knotweed would be growing. Roots would be growing down in the cracks, and they'd just be flat as a pancake. And uh, you could not ever um, really eradicate it. Once it gets in, it's in, and you'll never eradicate the stuff. Uh, the only, about the only option you got is to find useful ideas and and to, for it to make it into usable products. Um, for example, I suggested that it could be made into wood pellets. Those wood pellets could be used in the pellet stove, um, and also it could be made into charcoal. And those briquettes could actually function as heating fuel. Um, then it's medicinal values. Um, it's the root of Japanese knotweed is actually um, medicine, a vanguard in medication for Lyme's disease. So the root's very useful. Uh, the top part of it has been used in the past to make um, confectionaries. It's very sour and it can be made into uh, candies and sweets but you know one of the main things that i really want to concentrate on on this program was is that i believe that it can make very suitable paper um not not to mention all the savings and all the economical advantages to not burning up your wood uh on your land but uh using an invasive species like this that we know obviously is not going to go away they've even tried poisons round up and all kinds of crazy stuff on it to get rid of it and there's no getting rid of it so like it or lump it like it or not we're going to have to find something useful for it uh we're getting to the time now where uh, it's really a good idea to uh perhaps start going with more green and sustainable um sources for fuel and uh for making products now i'm i'm thinking to myself well you know uh this not we could make good paper that paper could be made into uh, can- cartons and uh, all sorts of things. Egg cartons can be made from it. You know, I'll bet you it makes very nice paper. So this, I think on this program, I'm going to start um, in the spring setting up a paper making operation in the backyard here. As long as the good Lord has uh, wills for us to be at this particular uh, location, this property, uh, I'm going to get permission from the landlord to set up a paper making process out back. And I'm going to try and start to um, make paper out of this stuff. Um, So, well, I I think uh, I'll bring you right along. Uh, If you tuned into the program or uh, or if you just happen to be watching, just scrolling down through your thing and happen to see this crazy looking man on here, um, then uh, come on on and we're going to go on a little adventure. We're going to learn how to make paper. Now, uh, a couple of years ago, I took... uh, a bunch of the stalks from the knotweed and I brought them down and I soaked them in a vat of water all winter long mixed with all the leaves and bark off of a staghorn sumac tree 
uh, I said uh, these things have to be pickled because uh, once they uh, die, then they turn real punky really quick. There's really nothing actually to it. But uh, once you cure them, then uh, I said pickle them. Uh, it'll become useful. So what I did was I took a bunch of them stalks and I made a slice down them because they're hollow and they're, and they're waterproof. I wanted to make sure I got the tannins on the inside as well of the stalks. So I put the uh, tannic acid right to it and left it all winter long. By spring, of course, it had quite a funky smell to it. Uh, didn't smell very good. But once I put the wood ashes to it, then it turned into like a dead dead fish kind of a smell. Went down, got some scoops full of uh, wood ash from the uh, fireplace, the fire pit down below, and put that all in it. Let that set there for a week. And, of course, I went out to the lake after about a week and washed that all off. Then I dried it out here on a big flat rock for in the sun until it was completely dry. And I turned it into a window blind. Now, I gave that away to somebody. I can't remember who it was now, but uh, I think it was my friend Vanessa that I gave it to. Uh, and the thing still functioned. We had it in the window for a long time there. It still functions. Uh, I'm back on it again. Uh, you know, I, I looked and I go, you know, something keeps telling you there's something you got to be done. But you're, <laughs> I got to go and clip these nails. They're a little too long. Uh, excuse me for a minute. So, there, yeah, that haven't been done. It's, it's hard to play the guitar when your nails are long. It feels like you're driving your nails right up to your elbows. Uh, so, had to go take care of that. I'm still fooling around, and I'm still getting ready to sing songs out of that book. There, uh, I'm, I might get better at this if I keep working at it. Um, so, anyway, uh, I'm just going to get on here and have fun with this guitar and just kind of play around. Um, we do honor the Lord Jesus Christ on this program. All honor the, the triune God and the Virgin Mary, the ever-Virgin Mary. So, out there, I, I bid you blessings in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit.
batteries are slipping away on me here as I use this. I got to get a uh, regular uh, plug-in, DC plug-in wall transformer thing to put on this thing so that I can quit using up my batteries in such a hurry. Get her out of there, I guess. Well, so anyway, uh, be looking for videos on uh, how to make paper in the future. Once that stuff starts coming up and I can get out there and work, then I will uh, sure begin a program on it. So, just give me time, okay? Welcome aboard.